this is Sandy. Um, I am recording um, my video log on day seven of my juice fast. I'm having a great day. I um, I think I'm down below 260 pounds. I'm not sure if the scale that I used today was correct or not, but I'll verify that tomorrow once I'm home. Uh, I've been working out of town this weekend. Um, it's been interesting because I've had to just make a whole bunch of juice and bring it with me uh, for being out of town and so um, part of the juice was made at like two o'clock in the morning and yeah the my recipes I, I followed a couple recipes but I didn't get a chance to really taste them first <laughs> um, Every, everything's okay except the green juices. I've got two different green juices that have like kale and spinach and asparagus and all kinds of stuff in it, cucumber. And um, I'm going to adjust my recipes a little bit and I'm definitely getting a, um, a juicer versus getting using the blender, um, at least for the green juices. I've had to literally just, because they're really thick with the pulp, and they don't have the flavor that I really would like for them to have. So I've had to literally just, um, with each spoonful, remind myself about why I'm doing this. Um, you know, losing 100 pounds, spending more time with my grandchildren, no medical expenses for medicines every month and so forth. So it's, it's been an interesting um, couple days with these juices. Um, you know, I just want to encourage anybody that, out there that's um, that's looking into the juicing. You know, a lot of um, a lot of the struggle is just um, you know, it's, it's a it's a mental thing. It's just pushing past the blocks of oh, I can't go without solid foods. It's the it's the struggle of passing the billboard with the giant you know triple quarter pounder, you know triple whatever three quarter pounder burgers and. Um, and, and, you know, instead of focusing on those things when those things try to, like, scream at you and go, you really want, a, you know, fries or a hamburger or pizza or whatever, um, as soon as those thoughts come, you know, you've got to just go, I'm going to look so great when I'm in a whole new wardrobe and I'm 100 pounds lighter or whatever your goal is. Um, I was, I've been reading um, a book called The 60 Day Juice Fast by um, Steve Fuentes, um, who is also someone who was motivated by um, Joe Cross, the man who did the documentary um, Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead. Um, and Steve in his book was talking about, um, he used an analogy about um, you know getting, getting yourself prepared mentally and educating yourself before you start, which I didn't do. Um, because I, you know, I saw the movie one day and started to fast the next. Um, but he talks about getting yourself educated and prepared to, to try to ensure your success. And he used the analogy of um, boot camp in the service. And, you know, nobody goes to boot camp and says how great and wonderful and easy boot camp was. Um, boot camp is hard. It's meant to be hard. Um, but, you know, in his analogy, he talked about, you know, uh, it's, it's that preparation stage so that when you are in battle, um, you know, things go smoothly, you know exactly what to do. And he said, you know, a, a soldier who can't uh, unjam a machine gun in the middle of a battle is, is no use in the battle. Um, so the importance of preparing yourself, um, you know, it, it, is, it is important. Um, Obviously, I didn't do that, like I said, but um, I, I do want to encourage people to, you know, especially if you're not familiar with um, nutritional issues and things like that. Me being a nurse, I do at least have some background in nutritional stuff. I've looked at, um, you know, vegetarian type stuff and, and juicing a little bit in the past. Um, so I'm, I was at least familiar with some of the things. Uh, really no... Educate yourself on what to expect uh, your body to do, um, and to how you, how to, how, you, how it's going to react while you're doing the juice fast, so that you understand that those things are normal and to be expected. Um, anything from you know, 
when you're going to, you know, really deal with hunger and stuff and, you know, changes in bowel movements and all that. I mean, uh, and even things like, you know, if you're juicing and you're using asparagus and, you know, your urine is going to have a really, really funky odor, which if you eat asparagus anyway, you'll know that. But um, so just, you know, educate yourself. Um, and then also another thing that, um, that Steve said in his book, uh, he was talking about, um, you know, not beating yourself up if, you know, if you think that you can't, do, you know, the only way you can do this is if uh, you you don't give up your coffee uh, or whatever. You know, it's something, it, it, there's no hard and fast rules uh, because it has to be something that you're comfortable with that will work for you. And uh, like for me, it's my iced tea, um, unsweetened with some stevia. Well, non-sugar sweetened, sweetened with stevia. Um, and okay, so today I had um, a mango pineapple smoothie from McDonald's, which I realized does have sugar in it, but they also, the, the packaged mix that they have, there's supposed to be some real fruit in those smoothies. Um, if somebody wants to call it cheating, that's fine. You know what? I'm not going to lose any sleep over it. My clothes are so much looser now than they have been. I feel amazing um, I can l I look at myself in the mirror I look at my eyes um, I look at just my energy level um, and I'm feeling a lot better I'm definitely looking better and I've got to get some pictures out there um, I just don't really do bathing suits but I guess I need to get into it and get some some pictures but um, Anyway, I know this is a long post and I don't mean for it to be too long and lose interest from people, but, um, you know, just even if you, even if you only commit to 10 days, um, that was my initial commitment. I'm on day seven and probably at about day, f when I first started and people asked me how long I was going to be doing this, I said, I'm committing to 10 days and I want to go longer. I want to go the full 60. And people thought I was crazy. Um, somewhere around the maybe day five, maybe even day four, when people started asking me how long I was doing it, I said, I'm doing a 60-day juice fast. I got to the point after the first few days that I realized that I could do it. Um, and because I was, I was experiencing the benefits from it at that point already, as early on into it as that, um, I really felt like I could do it, uh, you know, even, even if I have to talk myself through some days and, you know, even if, you know, I do keep the iced tea the whole time, which I will. Um, and, um, I've been making, you know, one of the juices I've been making is a V8, um, juice and I'm heating it up and, and eating it hot as soup, not, not boiling it, but just heating it, um, because I like hot foods. So, and, and it's, it's a, you know, it's, it's like soup. Um, another thing, uh, one of the smoothies I made the other day to bring with me this weekend was an apple, apple cucumber ginger um, uh, juice. And because I'm using the blender, it's really, really thick. It's like applesauce. And I, you know, and I, I even threw a little bit of cinnamon in it today. Um, and I've been eating it with, it, I've been eating my juice with a spoon. Um, so it was like I was eating applesauce, but all it was was apples with the peel on, um, cucumber peeled, and ginger, and a little bit of cinnamon. And the ginger I'm using is the fresh, you know, is fresh ginger that I'm grinding myself. Um, anyway, um, anybody that's thinking about this, if you have any questions about my experience, which I'm sure I'll do like other people. Um, once I'm done with the 60 days, I'll, I'll be inspired to write it all down in a book and hopefully make a few bucks on it. But anyway, um, more than anything, hopefully inspire some people. That's the whole reason for this blog. Um, anybody that has any questions, you're welcome to, to write to me. Um, and uh, anyway, I just want to wish you all a great day today, and I will... Talk to you again next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.